where have you all been? I'm just kidding, I'm back. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I just haven't made a hoop video in a while, or a YouTube video in a while, and so, um, I make, like, uploads and stuff for myself, these kinds of vlogs, and, um, whoever is watching. And so, I wanted to talk about young adulting. Hold on, I'm about to... Actually, this isn't that distracting. I'm just gonna come over here. I got a new pole! So that's exciting. Um, but I wanted to sit and talk with you guys, actually, and spread a positive message. Because I currently am situating my young adult life. And so I've been really, really busy with just, um, well, right now I'm assisting in a hair salon. So I graduated hair school and now I'm assisting and I'm getting into like financial advising. So that was like that kind of thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so when people get out of high school, I notice that they get so caught up and all of a sudden like getting a job, which like that's what you should do at that point probably because you want to make that money and you want to like like get all the things that you want like you want to get a car my I just said that really weird I saw my mouth do something weird <laughs> anyways but you want to get a car and maybe even like a year or two get like an apartment or like whatever but one do not feel obligated to grow up too fast because first of all once it starts it doesn't stop and so if you feel like you are taking life at your own pace and you feel like maybe your home life or something isn't like the best so you wanna like go off and get your own place, then one, you can take life at your own pace. Two, you can do whatever you wanna do at that point because yeah, maybe that might be the best choice for you is to move out and be on your own. But people that get older, get bitter and isolated and I feel like as long as you just productively hang out in life it's just all a balance it doesn't have to be as stressful or your goal doesn't have to feel so far away or that hard to achieve and also don't feel like you have to change so much to what sh how should I say this if you are an person and you like yourself <laughs> um, okay let me reword all this so there's times for being professional there's times for hanging out with friends and being maybe a little different than super professional but altogether it should just be you like you don't have to change yourself a whole lot to like get people unless you're like a total goofball or something and you want to go and be like a lawyer then like yeah you might have to be more stern or professional or like whatever at that time but people I feel like forget like that when you're a young adult you just started you're still young you're supposed to be productively hanging out you're not supposed to get stuck in a routine and go to work and come home and sleep because that's gonna be all your life is and so if you yeah work for like what you the work for the life that you want to live but don't just work so that when you're 30 or 40 or something like that then you can finally just like how should I say this because that could come out weird but do you see what I'm saying? Like, people, like, yeah, work for the life that you want to live, but don't just get stuck in this, like, routine where you feel like this is just how it's going to be for the rest of my life until it's all over or until I retire. Because you don't have to live just to work and pay bills and die. Like, that, you literally need just a balance of doing what you like to do along with working and I just felt like I had to talk about this because a lot of my friends they just like work and they get caught up in life but like we still have a long life to live guys like we you want to enjoy your life and you want to do everything you want to do and not be so like stressed out and you want to like try to kind of plan things and you just like having a plan is 
like definitely you want to have a plan but you also don't want to get so like wanting to control it all and stress yourself out because it's not going your way either and so life has a really weird way of you have to go with the flow but at the same time life has a weird way of meeting you halfway and what you want to do and so I just felt like this was actually a really big subject that I wanted to talk about because like sorry I had to crack my back but um like yes this pool took a lot of money and I'm sure that my parents worked really hard and had a plan and all that and so if you want things like a car or a nice house or like whatever it is then yes you have to work for those things but you don't have to just work for those things and feel like money is this whole big thing because even homeless people could be the happiest people in the world because they find value in not having value or they may be like find value in something that like is comparable to what actually is valuable I guess I don't know how to word that but do you see what I'm saying I hope that someone's kind of watching this and follows because there's just so much in my mind right now that I just like want to explain and it it's kind of life is a very contradicting thing and I see both sides of everything so sometimes when I explain things everyone has a different story and so like maybe I if I say hang on to the person that you were before the job before all of this because that's like what makes you happy this is like when you're at home chilling and you're with friends or whatever and you're happy like that is like the time that like matters but like say you don't have a good home life or something then yeah you're determined to do a lot better but just don't feel like you have to get caught up in a routine and like there has to be a routine of some sort but like Sometimes even if it's something as little as like taking a different way home every day, like you should still have time to have a new experience and have stuff to talk about and just not get bored so quickly in life. And I just wanted to spread that positive message. And also, um, I've actually been really busy myself. So I finally made some hula hooping videos and I've been impressing myself all day today actually and it's been really awesome because I did a lot with hair today that in an hour I did something that I didn't even think was possible and um in the amount of time that I did <laughs> I should say because I got it I was inspired by a Facebook video so it's possible but um also with hula hooping at first I was kind of like eh for a second and then I just got back into it and I was just like wow I actually got a lot better and so I took the time today to hula hoop because it's been a minute it's been like a month or well in this on this channel it's probably been longer but it's been about a month since I picked up my hula hoop and so sometimes yeah life happens but hobbies are honestly something that you should create a list of things that you like and things that you want to get into and that's something that can if sometimes you get too caught up in life that's something that can take you away from that or distract you in a healthy way and um like yeah go party with your friends and have a stress-free night and like have those nights sometimes but like you need an overall balance of everything and so productively hang out in life and also check out my new hula hooping videos bye guys <laughs>